Hello to everyone. Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shabi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for you all. Um, uh, please be sure to like, subscribe to my channel, and email me if you desire to have a personal reading or to order my hair or body oils. So let's get right into it, y'all. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I'll just first say shout out to the person who inspired me to bring this forward to the world, especially to the chosen seed and the spiritual warriors out there. You know who you are if you happen to watch this message. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I was speaking to someone who was receiving a reading from me and she mentioned that a loved one that she had who was located out in Africa was dealing with some, some issues in his, um, in his environment okay like war you know all out war was breaking out um and so there were some fears behind that um in terms of the people that stayed there they was really dealing with some things and so when she mentioned this to me i had never heard of this particular region in africa but my spiritual team told me okay write it down and do a burning and releasing do a declaration on their behalf to shut down the wickedness in that region okay and so I didn't even think twice, you know, when my spiritual team, when the most high gives me directives and my spiritual team say, hey, this is what you should be doing. I do it. Even if I'm one, not 100 percent certain as to why I just I know I'm a vessel. And so I take on the assignments that I'm given. So I wrote it down and, you know, I told her, I said, I'm going to do a writing, burning and releasing on their behalf. Um, again, this is a part of Africa that I've never heard of. And so I had her spell the name out of whatnot. And she did. And so here it is about two and a half weeks later, I recently spoke to her today and she mentioned that in that area now they have decided to have a meeting between the rebels or whatever you might want to call the, you know, the people that was kind of, you know, creating the havoc and the chaos there to come together with the leaders of that town to have a peace meeting. And so right away you know i told her i says you know for me it's all about just doing taking on the assignment i'm just the vessel and the most high god in my spiritual team does everything else you know i don't take the credit for any of these things the only thing i could take credit for is just taking on my assignment and so it was just beautiful to hear that and so it really did encourage me and motivate me to have a message for you all in regards to, for each of you chosen seeds across the globe. We're spread out everywhere, okay? Um, and there are many of us, even though the number is small in comparison to how many people are not chosen, okay? But there are many of us and we are rising into our divinity. We're coming into um, remembrance of who we are and what we've been placed here to do. And so I want you all to rep your city or rep your state, rep your country, wherever you are located. And the whole objective here at this point is that you as a chosen seed, as a spiritual warrior, you write, burn and release and do a declaration on behalf of your city or your state where you are currently located right now. Doesn't matter where you are across the globe, okay? Because more than likely, out of all of the people miles and miles within your town, you are probably one of the only chosen seed that that exists there at that, in, in that particular region, okay? And so you have a great assignment that goes, of course, beyond just yourself. And of course, beyond the breaking of the generational curses concerning your lineage, we are breaking the curses off of the land and breaking the curses off of all organic life that's within that particular region where you sit. That's what makes it that much more powerful. Um, so obviously you're going to be working with your spiritual team, the Most High God, your spiritual team, and take them the, on the assignment to be the vessel that breaks those curses off of your particular state. Um, and it is my hopes that as we move forward, as we watch things unfold, that many of you will come back with your own testimonies in terms of what type of breakthroughs have been happening in those particular areas where you are the spiritual warrior that is doing these declarations on behalf of all organic living beings and the land um, in that region where you are. And if you feel like taking it a step further, because actually I was guided to do it on behalf of 
every single state that I have been to. And I even added in one that I have not been to, but someone very special to me is in that state. And so I included that state. And so I strongly suggest, you know, this is what I did. I did where I was born, every state that I've stepped foot in, because you leave your energetic signature everywhere that you go. Okay, no matter how long you're there, you leave your energetic signature, good or bad. That's how we create the energy of the universe, okay? It's called group consciousness. And so now that you have awakened and you're moving from a higher place of consciousness, wherever you go, your energetic signature is heightened. Like just you walking into a room somewhere is very healing and calming and soothing to the people that's there. But for others, depending on where they're at and what type of spirit they carry, they carry, it could actually be disruptive. Like the, you know, like they say, um, your light disrupts the demons in that person is that type of energy. Okay. So it can have, um, but it'll have a chaotic effect where that demon knows it has to stand down because of who you are. And so it's the same thing. When we come out here, we've been given these spiritual tools to shift the energy of the universe and working with the elements, working with the most high in your spiritual team, alchemizing energy, transmuting energy, doing declarations, writing, burning, and releasing, lighting candles and things of that nature. These are, this is a part of our culture. This is a part of our inheritance, okay? And as a spiritual warrior, you and I, we recognize that our position is in the spiritual realm. As above, so below. And so many of these things that have been created, they had to be created in the spiritual realm first before they could actually manifest in the physical in the first place. So not everybody has this particular assignment. When we talk about the body of Christ consciousness awakening, you have some whose position is more in the physical realm, some whose position is more so doing the footwork. Then you have others whose position is the spiritual warriors, where you you cutting off the heads of demons and dragons in the spiritual realm, okay? And so this is where, if you feel drawn or guided to this particular message, you are likely a part of the, the team of spiritual warriors who are getting ready to come in and do this particular assignment, okay? So I'm really excited because, like I said, it wasn't even long, just a couple of weeks ago. And if you feel comfortable, whoever, you know, you know who you are, leave a comment below. I'll definitely acknowledge that you are, you know, the, the person, um, because I was very excited to hear that. And so it just really reinforced, um, that, that feeling of like, okay, we got to get out here. We have to put in the work. Okay. We got to go ahead and, and, um, do these declarations and come together as a body of people. Okay as spirits having a human experience to shift these energies in the spiritual realm. The enemy is extremely terrified of the changes that's getting ready to take place across the globe, okay? There's many different things that are happening right now. Um, and so all of these things that are playing out at this point is it's all in alignment and it's all in order to create a new foundation, to create a new energy, okay? To balance the scales finally because the scales have not been balanced for far too long. And you all, you're very aware of this, okay? And so we are coming in to balance the scales. We are coming in to um, declare and decree that the highest form of righteous judgment will now be established upon the heads of our enemies. We are declaring and decreeing that, you know, I'm going to tell you the declaration. And if you feel guided to put it in the description box or in, I'm sorry, in the comments below, I definitely appreciate all of you who do that on my behalf here or, or on behalf of others who would like to join in. So this says, I declare and decree that on behalf of the following regions all and all organic life therein, that all curses are broken, all spell work, dark magic, hidden wicked agendas and oppression are now and forevermore destroyed in spirit, in flesh, in sleep, in awakened state, across all timelines, realms, and dimensions known and unknown. Okay? And so this is what you're going to do. We're going to do this in unison, but it's, you're going to put specifically the regions that 
you feel guided to write down, okay? So like I said, even if you haven't necessarily been there, but you know your ancestors are from there, or you know that there's certain family members that are in certain areas that that's your DNA, so that's a part of your energetic signature as well. Whatever you feel guided to, to write down in terms of the uh, these different areas, you know, um, put it inside of your declaration and burn it. Uh, if you feel the need to rep your city or your state below, write it down in the comment section because maybe someone will read it and decide, I feel drawn to add that particular region just based off of the energy of the person who made the comment. Who knows? But we just know that we're setting off in the spiritual realm. This is creating bombs, okay? This is setting off fireworks in the spiritual realm and it's breaking down mountains in each particular region because you have to recognize that not only have the people been put asleep but nature was also put asleep as a result of us not being in our in our nature okay we were so far removed from who we are naturally that even we became inorganic even we became um like robots or walking zombies because we were so fixated on on the on the matrix and the illusion that these low vibrational beings handed to us for generations and so as a result of it once the organic beings which is us who's been given dominion over the land fall asleep and, and move into this inorganic state then so does everything else everything else follows suit okay and so this is where all right, we come back into our nature. We come back into our power. We awaken to who we are. We do the work to heal, okay? And now we take back our authority. We take back our, our royal seat, okay? We take back our inheritance, our birthright, and our sovereignty. And we also restore the balance across the entire universe, across the entire globe, across the lands, within the animals, I mean, within the elements, we restore the balance by being intentional about it. And by doing these declarations in unison, we are putting an energy out there that goes far beyond just us um, just being, like a human just being. We go far beyond that. We say, okay, as a spirit having a human experience, I'm going to do what's necessary as a spiritual warrior, as a spiritual vessel to shift the spiritual energy so that as things shift in the spiritual realm, I am creating, I am um, manifesting, I am calling down and pulling down a new kingdom. And so that is your position as a spiritual warrior in terms of the bot as part of the body of Christ consciousness. Many of you are part of the 144,000. Okay, I do believe that the 144,000 represents the heart of the body, which gets things pumping again. Okay, it awakens the rest of the body. So the heart is one, you know, if you think of your full body, okay, just use mine as, as an example. I have a heart. And that heart is only, it, it plays a major role. If it stops beating, then everything else shuts down. That's the same thing, but it's a small piece of the greater whole. But it is a very vital, very vital piece of the greater whole. And so when the heart is not beating, then again, the entire body shuts down. It's dead. It's asleep. And so the 144,000, in my opinion, for me, what has been shown to me represents the, the heart of the body. And when we get back uh, strong again and we start beating in rhythm, in unison, okay, and we say, okay, we're waking up again, a lot of times it takes that shocking factor. It takes for you to do something that you've never done, to step outside of those boundaries and to think outside of the box in order to reawaken the body. And so these are things that are being shown to me. And her speaking to me and telling me how it has affected that particular region in such a short period of time and I'm only one vessel, you know, that is that is massive to me. But it, it obviously I'm a vessel, but the most high in my spiritual team did all of the work. I just had to take the initiative as the vessel to shift the energy, take on the assignment in other words, okay, as part of the heart of the body. And so maybe that's why I've been drawn to wear my green scarf today because that does represent the heart chakra. And so consider, it's our time now to shift the energy. And so we have to take drastic measures, even though it doesn't take a whole lot. But what it does take is for you to be intentional about it, for you to do the works. That's why it says, you know, in biblical text, faith without works is dead. Well, these are the works. 
these are the works that are being shown to me and they have been very effective in my personal life and I have gotten many testimonies of these works being effective in others personal lives you know and so yes bringing in the faith along with the works if you don't have an altar up in your home already I suggest that you go ahead and put your altars up for me my altar consists of the elements, the four elements, earth, wind, water, fire. And the fifth thing that I bring forward to my altar is my faith. And so anytime I light a candle, I'm always calling on my spiritual team. I'm always giving thanks and gratitude to the Most High God for giving me the authority to create. Because I see that, you know, that candle, that fire element that I'm burning, I'm always using whatever candle I light, I'm creating something with it. And then I also use the element of fire to destroy when I'm writing, burning, and releasing. And in that moment, I'm calling on the Most High God and my spiritual team to help do the rest. And so we want to do these things in unison. It might look a little bit different for everybody, but I find that that is the most effective measure that I have been um, shown through the Most High and my spiritual team at this point in my spiritual journey. And so I just bring it forward to you all because having an altar in your home is very, very important, but also knowing why you have it and knowing how to use it, you know, um, that's very important too, okay? So whoever is ready to step in and to do this with me, just make a comment below. Um, you, you might just rep your, your particular region, rep your city, rep your state, and, you know, just say, I'm in. And um, I'm just, I'm excited, y'all, because we shaking things up around here. Just like when we did the writing, burning, and releasing to destroy the spell work and the curses off of the land across the globe. And you saw how Mother Nature started, you know, really just kicking in and just, you know, coming through, like stepping into this power, awakening again, okay? And many different things have been happening. Um, this is us using the energy of, okay, we're the vessel. We're in that particular region, wherever you are, you're setting the intention to clear the energy that surrounds you, okay? And you're doing it for all organic living things, for yourself and all living things and creatures that are on that particular land and whatever other land your energetic signature has crossed. I strongly suggest that we do this together, y'all, so I'm excited. I didn't plan on making this a long message, but I will be doing another message right after this that has nothing to do with this particular subject, but I wanted to bring this one forward first, so please let me know who's all in. I've already done it, okay? I don't never tell y'all to do anything that I haven't already done myself, so I've, I've already done mine. I had about, probably about 10 different states that I had on my list, okay? Um, and so if you feel compelled to only do it for your hometown, then just do it for your hometown, whatever you intuitively feel guided to do. You might even do it for a country that you've never been to. Whatever you feel called to do, let's do it. Let's do it together. Let's reawaken the heart, okay? Because we are the heart. We are re reawakening the body, okay? The heart is already up. That's those of you who are more than likely attracted to do these types of things as spiritual warriors. So I love you all. Um, I'll be making another message, so check in for the next message that I put up, and I'll talk to you all next time.